Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. It is 90 degrees in my bin. It was a sweltering hot day today. Um, losing a little bit of sunlight now, but I wanted to pop in here, show you guys what was going on. Um, I do think I'm going to dump this bin into my raised bed to finish composting there and restart this bin with nothing but um, the leftover breeder cocoons and breeder worms that I have um, simply because I'm not going to be able to get the gardening and the harvesting done that I was hoping to because of my recent health issues um, but you can see like this corn's been in here a while and it's molding and getting soft and turning funny colors but um, they haven't really quite worked into that yet but it seems like they are sticking in pockets that are areas that are cooler so they kind of find the spot that isn't hot in the bin and during the day it is getting 90 plus in this bin. But they haven't seemed to be overly distressed by it and if I just kind of shift the bin around into the shade, the worms seem to be doing fine. I'm not seeing mass escapees or anything like that. They all seem quite, quite healthy actually. There's a good deal of mites and beetles and all sorts of stuff, but that's going to be expected, especially in an outdoor composting system. Not a fan of those guys, but um, all in all, this stuff is looking really good. So I'm just going to dig around a little bit in here and see what type of compost we have and how it's looking. But it's funny, as soon as the weather warmed up and I started feeding more, the worms are so red and healthy and they're working through things really fast. So I couldn't be happier with that. Still trying to firmly decide what I'm gonna do, but I, I'm pretty certain this is just gonna go into the garden and we'll restart. All of these lovely worms will continue working. I might plant some like cover crop in my raised bed, which is right now nothing but weeds and just have that as a way for the compost to kind of build up microbial activity in the garden so that I can plant next season when I'm feeling a bit better. But I can feel down here just gobs and gobs of worms. It just must be a really comfortable temperature over here in this corner. But the top is a little bit dry, but as soon as you go down some of the babies there go down just a few inches um the moisture is actually relatively good um there's like a whole apple that hasn't even began to, to break down i don't even know who gave this to me this apple looks fine but it's in here and it feels pretty warm down in this particular area and you see a few less worms over here so it's like they're hanging where they want to and they probably just move into the areas as they cool off and become more suitable for them. I don't know if you can see this guys. Some lovely maggots of some sort hanging out in here as well. But in an outdoor system that's normal, it's going to be expected and it's actually good. They're all helping in the decomposition process. I have yet to have to add any sort of uh, water bottles or anything to keep these worms cool. They've been okay, but I have been checking on them every single day. Um, because with the temperatures being as hot as they have been, there's definitely the possibility that it could get too hot and they would start to cook. But there's no signs of that right now. So we'll turn this over a little bit more, look on this other side. And then I will probably add a little bit more food just because it might take me a few days to get everything added to the garden and it actually feels nice because I'm able to aerate some of these areas that are a bit warm but you know some of these corn husks that I put in here are really starting to break down so everything given some time will start to to break down and they're working really fast in here considering the amount of food I've been giving them and yeah there's a decent amount of food left in here but I do think that I can get away with a little bit more. It's going to be a little bit cooler, I think, over the next few days. 
So I think they should handle that okay. And this food has been pre-composting on my countertop. So that's also a benefit. It's not going to be um, heating up too much because it's already kind of done that inside this pot I had in my kitchen. But I'm impressed with the life. I'm impressed with how rich this stuff looks down the bottom, especially where more of these leaves and all are. And even when I dig as deep down as I can get, everything I'm coming up with is still able to, to flake apart, which just lets me know that it's not overly wet in the bottom. Much fewer worms down below. They're all kind of hanging out where they should be with our food. Now, of course, I'm mixing everything up so much, but they'll figure it out where to go. And like I said, if this is just going to compost in place in my garden, I don't even really care. I can smell some citrus in here breaking down. I can smell some kind of uh, lemon or orange smell. But all in all, I mean, I, I flipped this pretty much as far as I'm willing to, to dig down right now. Um, and everything looks, looks well. I don't see any pockets that are, you know, endangered in any way. So since it is a little bit on the dry side in areas, um, I'm not going to add any additional bedding. I'm going to kind of pull, um, open a little pocket here in the middle, kind of clear out any old food to the edges because it'll get hotter as it composts in the middle and then the edges will cool off. Then we'll feed here in the middle and the worms will have area below or to the sides that they can move to until everything gets to the proper temperature for them to be able to work on it. And this is kind of how I've been theorizing this was gonna work and so far, even with our really warm temperatures, it seems to be holding up okay. Um, as I look at this, I might add a tiny bit of bedding. I'm just going to go see what I have readily available. Uh, I'm not looking to go shredding a whole bunch of cardboard or anything right now. So I'll see what I have. We'll add a little bedding and we will get this bin fed. Okay, so the flies seem quite happy in here. Um, I don't have much sitting around that was um, ready to go in a bin, but I did have a few paper towel rolls, paper towel toilet paper rolls and the good thing about that is it adds a little bit of um, bulk here so that there's more air able to circulate through here which is of course of important when it's as hot as it is right now currently it's only in the upper 80s but I think it's gonna be going back in the 90s if I'm not mistaking so just have to monitor that and then big old pot full of food here going to get all this good stuff out of here and then I'm just going to loosely cover everything with the castings because it is going to heat up in the middle here so I want to kind of keep the food the bulk of the food in the middle so that the worms can do what they've been doing which is kind of hanging around the edges where there's a little bit better aeration for them to escape any sort of hot temperatures and I will poke back in first thing tomorrow because if I'm seeing that it's heating up really fast overnight. You know, first thing tomorrow I can, oh, there are some flowers in here. I forgot that my friend had put in. Um, if it's oh, if it's heating too, too much, I um, will throw in a, a water bottle, frozen water bottle or something to cool it off. But um, I'm trying to do as minimal maintenance as possible. That's kind of the goal here. To see what we can do without having to go to massive extreme measures to keep the worms alive. So, my first my first instinct right now is to just kind of leave it like this let it go and see how the worms can handle it and then adjust if necessary but I, I did like I said I turned it up well which gave some pocket air pockets in there for um, better ventilation and you know it is going to get warmer in the middle now that I can't get this in here I want to try to put this probe close to the middle so I can peek at it first thing in the morning um, 
But right now that's reading 91, 92 degrees. So it's, it's gonna, gonna be hot, but if I have to throw in ice uh, water bottles tomorrow, I will. Um, and in the next day or two, we'll, we're gonna get these guys into the garden and uh, we'll restart this bin with uh, my breeder tray. So it'll be lots of peat moss with uh, cocoons loaded down into it. And we'll start with that and some of the breeder worms that are already uh, in those bins. And we'll let it take off that way. And that way my garden will benefit from some additional worm activity. And um, we can build a, a new population in here without having to go through the nightmare of uh, an extensive harvest. So kind of a quick one today. Sorry, the lighting got a little bit dark here at the end, but did want to bring this to you guys. So let me know what you think. Drop those comments below, like this video, subscribe for some more content from me and hit that bell for notifications. And I'll be back with you guys real soon for an update.